product not yet rated. Warning, we have four high-speed bogeys inbound. Approaching unknown aircraft bearing 280, altitude 6000. Hold your fire until further orders. Large squadron of bombers and fighters approaching airspace over this island. Heartbreak 1, do you copy? I'm in takeoff position on the runway. Engines, full power. This is Heartbreak 1 of War Dog Squadron. We are approaching the target. Product not yet rated. The journey begins, starts from within. Things that I need to know. The song of Who do you think's covering up the battle? Listen, the only thing across that ocean is Murska Air Base. That's Yuktobanian territory. Yuktobania just declared war. They've launched an offensive simultaneously, too. But haven't we been allies with the Yukes since the war 15 years ago? Captain's probably hating this more than anybody. He used to have a lady friend over in Yuktobania. Ah, uh, that's just an old war wound now. Captain, two enemy planes on your six. We can't defend the area with just four planes. Oh yeah, just wave through the missiles. What are you, nuts? When history witnesses a great change, Raz Grease reveals itself, first as a dark demon. As a demon, it uses its power to rain death upon the land, and then it dies. However, after a period of slumber, Raz Grease returns. these people may well be the story I was looking for all this time. In fact, I was sure of it.
product not yet rated. Red alert. I was in the sky, trying to get the training team in my viewfinder from the rear seat of the lead plane. My pilot in the front seat was howling at the earth below. Give me a break. I'm babysitting nuggets up here. Command room, War Dog Squadron. We have leakers, aircraft type unknown. Crossing the border, Cape Landers, bearing 278 to 302. Captain Bartlett, your flight is the only group close enough to make the intercept. Baker, Benson, go trail and stay close. The three of us will go high and engage the bandits. All other aircraft stay low and out of the fight. upside down, and my stomach turned inside out. Sorry about this. The captain's apology to me seemed misplaced. One instructor had survived the fight, but crashed on landing. The other one was killed in action high up in the clouds. It wasn't his fault that the unidentified aircraft fired on us without warning. Nor was it his fault that the low-altitude area where he sent his trainees was directly in front of the enemy. Eight people died because the command room had misplaced some zeros. That pilot in the number seven was amazing. Did you see her fight back? I couldn't bear to watch. Nagase, you keep flying like that and you'll die real soon. I won't die, sir. The only surviving trainee's voice was almost a whisper. Are you sure? You look like you couldn't hurt a fly. Her face was pale, but she still managed to smile a bit for the camera. The photo, along with my camera, was confiscated by base security. It was as if our little undeclared war never happened. I came to cover this remote island because I heard that a very unique squadron leader was stationed here. I didn't realize he was this unique, though. This bad-mouthed, good-natured old firebrand could take the greenest of rookies and forge him into a fearsome fighter pilot. Of course, that possibility vanished with the day's encounter. The only crew he had left now were Second Lieutenant Nagase and the few pilots that happened to be on the ground that day. I know you don't like this, but we're short on people. Starting tomorrow, all you Nuggets are going to be sitting alert. If we launch, stay glued to me up there. Nagase? Sir? You're flying number two on my wing. Gotta keep an eye on you, or who knows what you'll get yourself into. Two enemy planes on your six! We can't defend the area with just four planes! Oh yeah, just weave through the missiles! What are you, nuts? Got him! On my nose! On your right! Right! Grim, that's yours! I'm hit! I'm going down! We can't let them crush our chance for peace! That's what I hate about war! No matter who starts it, it always comes to this!